don't have a problem. Oh, let me let me put it this way. I understand the reasoning behind limiting mass gatherings. Mm -hmm. Totally get it. Yes, we do. Totally get it. Mm -hmm. The problem I'm having is that um, because of the nature of mass gatherings, we are being asked to not work. Not work. Mm -hmm. There is no other industry that that is being asked of. No. However, um, there is no targeted relief. So, for instance, we have seen a drop off in different industries as a result of de of demand, mm -hmm. right? Because of a, a drop off in demand. So, globally, tourism is down. People ain't really traveling. And people making decisions based on the quarantine. Mm -hmm. People making decisions based on the fact you can't come here if you're not vaccinated. Yep. Um, flights are, d uh, are, are not daily from mm -hmm. some places. So, there's a change in the demand, mm -hmm. which, which accounts for the decrease in in the in the in the revenue being generated the entertainment industry is the one that the government is saying for the betterment of the country we're asking you to not um do anything yeah not, do not do anything and so no problem i have no problem with that mm -mm, we don't but bear in mind now if you are asking me to not be able mm. to work mm -hmm. then there should be some relief mm-hmm mm-hmm as um Get such a spot, boy. <laughs> there should be some relief. Um, oh boy! And I'm not saying that everybody involved in the music industry, in the in the in the entertainment industry, cut them a check. Now what I'm it. saying, I'm saying we have people who, um, for instance, I would have bought a lot of equipment that has been in my warehouse. <laughs> And they like, can't like they have. I have not been able to do a rental since February last year because mm -hmm. the stuff I would, and so like when you have things like loans to pay, your there's depreciation that's happening on your equipment, right? Um, that is that that like that is the kind of thing that I would like to see some relief. Um, even memoratoriums and, and loans. Like I said, the big thing for me is depreciation. People, especially service providers, who have mm -hmm. big inventory that is now basically sitting. Chilling. Yeah, as because we are doing our part, as we are doing our part as um, you know, citizens, country above self. But the country can't just sit on themselves <laughs> 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 until you until you have nothing left. Literally, and the funny thing is, right? I always go back to this example of why I feel like they only understand the importance of our industry when they need it. You said it. When we have elections and all these things happening, who do they draw for? The entertainment industry. But then they just abandoned us. <laughs> like, we're just here. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. literally just here. We're doing our part. We're following the protocols in place. Sometimes events, when we were having events, events would just get shut off and we, we can't do anything about that. So whatever money spent is gone. Don't get me started about that, eh? Because that ain't a COVID thing. Like you said, that there's something that's been going on. Don't tell me I have my... Y'all don't pay taxes. We pay taxes, one, right? We have a business license. So I have a business license, but in order for me to use the business license, I didn't have to get a permit. <laughs> Imagine if Rams had to, every time they want to open a shop, go get a permit. Interesting, eh? Okay, no problem. You tell me I got to go get a permit. The process, so all over the place, nobody know what's going on. And then because while the event is happening, because a fight happened outside, forget that. Because a police because a police feel sleepy and you want to go home to your children, shut down. Shut down the party. Lock down, lock up. And you have no recourse. Bruh, the things that... No recourse. <laughs> the things that... We have experience in this industry, right? When they're fighting ramps, when they, when they got fighting ramps, when they close down ramps? No, I've never seen it happen. Never ever seen it happen. It is wild to see the thing that people do to the entertainment industry and are able to do freely with nobody talking about it. We just have to chalk it up to a loss. How is that right? But how, let me tell you something, right? Jade. Let me tell you something, Jade. I, I know, and again, I've been having these conversations behind closed doors, and so I know what the, 
Because you are going off on a tangent. <laughs> no, this was supposed to be tomorrow, but I don't have no. All right. You think, you think I'll go you find you one more tomorrow. You got a lot of things. No, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this is the issue. And I bl- and look, this is one of the things others blame us for. And we have to take responsibility in this conversation because a lot of the entertainers aren't registered, promoters aren't registered, bands aren't registered. So it's hard for the government to get an accurate reading of what the losses are. I, ad- I, I admit that, and that is something that we have... The generic... Yeah. All right, so, like, the thing is now... Yeah, we have our problems to deal with, and I and I and again I, I I I accept that. However, there are ways and means to be able to determine certain things when things aren't done properly, where paperwork is missing. For instance, there are ways to determine who owns a piece of land. If we can't find the title, there the, are the, the processes in place. Mm-hmm. So in other in all areas, there are ways for us to determine what and who and all like these things. So we, this, yes, it mm-hmm. takes work, but there are ways and means. If I have countless videos of me on the stage doing whatever, it's going to be hard for you to tell me I am not that. Here is, here is the videos. <laughs> Here are, here, are, here are receipts of um, bills paid, um, etc., etc., et money spent, etc., 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 etc. And that and that only applies, like I said, to a lot of performers and stuff like that. A lot of the companies that support the industry, where there is the tent rental, where there is the lighting people, where there is the, the sound engineers Optical and the sound company. Them as well for security. Yeah, another job. They're in, they're in the entertainment industry. They don't have to be, but we still pay them. I'm just saying. So you, p- these are people who see because they're there, so they understand. It. Oh yeah, I was talking about people who are now because of the request of the government, Affected. unable, unable to earn. Listen, not. We're doing our part. We're doing our part. We're doing our part. Like I've never come in here one time, and 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 and, and felt like. The, and Jade knows because when we talk about it, sometimes before it's announced, I'd be like, yeah, no, they can't see all events. <laughs> yeah. And we understand because of the nature of the virus, we are being asked. We were once, we were first we were asked to limit the numbers. Like... No, we were asked to stop first. Oh, yeah. Well, well every... We uh, yeah. So, and now we're back to stopping again. Right. So, mm-hmm. we understand. We understand. But... I don't think it's also understood <laughs> that there are people who are suffering because of this. And like I said, unlike other industries where they're seeing loss in revenue as a result of a drop in demand, that's not the case here. Because if you tell people right now, we could have, have let's say, a five in one fit, thousands of people over there. As <laughs> in, for that <laughs> weekend, right? We had uh, so many people who were booking nail appointments here, makeup, buying clothes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a caller on the line. Caller, good morning. You're live on Island Team. Uh, good morning. Morning. Um, yes. Uh, what you seem to have a concern with is that the fallout from COVID may lead to permanent changes um, that arguably may take us backward. Um, you mentioned, for instance, possible discrimination and the blurring of what is regarded as reasonable. You know, where should we draw the line? But these are just symptoms of, I think, something even more sinister. You know, what you have, what you can possibly have is a new class developing to add to the ones that you already have. You know, vaccinated versus uh, unvaccinated. You know, and the next thing we, we know, we have a police state to enforce the new regulations. You know, and, and, and we have a new brand of nationalism and patriotism, which is almost like fascism, uh, fascism you know, um, and dictatorship. And we should guard against that, 
You know, by the time we realize it, we may have reached a critical mass. And what was a creeping dictatorship becomes a galloping one. And the next thing we know, our way of life is irreversibly changed. Um, you may see it as affecting your field. And I suspect, correct me if I'm wrong, but I suspect one of your worries is that people may realize from all this that maybe we can do without so much entertainment. And as a result, they don't go back to the way things were. And that will affect yours and, and other people's livelihood. Um, and maybe one of the things that we have to realize is that some things, as a result of COVID, some things may be permanently changed. And that will be frightening to some. Okay, but especially those of us who feel that, well, things were progressing along nicely and we had a good balance and now everything is going to go back to go back 20 years or 30 years. Okay, and I think that is, is, is what we have to guard against. You know, the, the fallout from, from COVID in terms of permanent damage, if you will, to our society, how we do things, how we operate, in terms of relationships and that sort of thing. Okay, then. All right, thank you for your call. I might have a different view in terms of um, what the fallout might be um, in regards to the entertainment industry. I have different concerns in terms of can this be a stepping stone? And, and, and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's for us to decide, are we going to use this pandemic to do things like diversify the economy? Are we going to use this pandemic to put things in place that should have been in place long time ago? Years ago. Um, in terms of, if, like, and we're talking about entertainment, like, we, we've seen through this, the evolving of the, um, the permit system going online and stuff like that, streamlining, stream, streamlining, sorry, the, the process. Even though I've got a problem with that right now, right? like, maybe I'll leave that one for tomorrow. I got a problem with that and, and this and this process thing. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Like, yeah, cab, yeah. But anyway, cab. Who cab? <laughs> I got a problem with them and that there. But but, but no. But we've seen some. So I think we are in a and don't get me. Don't feel like as if even you mentioned things like we're going into a police state to try and enforce these things. This ain't this ain't nothing new, you know. I, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> one of the worst things. One of the most aggravating things for me as a citizen of this country is when I am forced to interact with a member of the defense force with the M16 and the ways. Like, I hate it. Yeah, okay, I see the reaction, but... I hate it. I'm telling you. I am on the strip walking around. Where is there a man with the M16? Protection. You know what M16 does to people? Protection. You train a man. Protection. You train a man. <laughs> In war, not policing. Yeah. Put him to police mm -hmm. and give him a weapon of war. And I would expect that he is expected to react based on his training. Yeah. You, have, you know what M16 does to people? I don't want to find out. Why am I why am I, I understand I, it either? Why am I driving? There's a traffic stop. There's a traffic stop with police, right? I don't have a problem, right? If there's some reason that even we, even if we don't know, Jade, right? Even if we don't know, there's some reason why the police feels that they need backup from the army officials. Don't let none of them talk to me. Don't even talk to me, Jay. But not, you know. Hmm. Don't even talk to me. And this and it can't be a regular thing, and I I thank God that it's not, because most of the most of the traffic stops that I see, mm -hmm. there is no defense force personnel there, mm -hmm. right? But I yo, watch it eh? I don't you know. Don't talk. Watch it, army man. Don't talk to me. Like don't don't even I don't even want them to talk to me. I don't I don't answer them. Like you not supposed to interact with civilians. What and then they start doing this thing. Oh, call them special constables. Nonsense. <laughs> Like, uh, I rose by... This thing gave you superpowers, man. No, I rose by any other name. By, and he's still a rose. 
Like, you're at, no, I mean, like, like you, you're walking with an M16, right? You're walking with an M16 to ask me for my driver's license? Yeah. What ship is he telling me? Yeah. Why not? And what? Watch here. Go and get a police officer. What? Who's, who, I can't even ask them the law. Why are they? Okay. I just want to know, what is the purpose of you running out into the road to stop, to, to stop traffic? Do, we don't have better ways to do this. Yo, you know how crazy the feel when I bring when I have friends here, and we hanging out somewhere, and the defense force struck. But the man asked me, is this a state of emergency? No, we just. No, that they're just a regular Tuesday. They're looking for people to read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but don't talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. You got like watch here. You are not supposed to interact with civilians. So you would feel better if they had a smaller guns. Is it Jade? Possible? Let me tell you something, right? Just checking. The force, the force that persons are expected to use mm-hmm. should match <laughs> the situation. The situation. <laughs> you think? Right? I'm sure. The police carry a sidearm. Right? The police carry a sidearm. You, like, and this thing about we don't have enough resources. I, mean, I don't tell me the stupidness. <laughs> Then take the people them out at the defense force and put them in the police and train them in policing. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, I don't, this is, this is don't your, talk to me. Your body is locked. But we have a caller. Good morning, caller. Are you a defense force officer? Hi, good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning, Eli Grimes. It's true. In the community, the community, the community is with this long, big thing for what? Really? Why my child outside playing and there's a truck passing with several men on the back in camouflage? You can't camouflage in concrete. <laughs> what are you telling me? Are you so right? You know, this is not, this ain't happening just now. You remember, I think a couple of years, I think they, um, I think Labour was on when they barricade down something down 4th Street and these police and these officers have this long machine gun. Yo, I've been upstairs, um, what is now called, um, <laughs> well, Bobsy's upstairs, Karma. What's their name? Uh, oh, the restaurant? The restaurant. Creole. 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 Mm-hmm. So before Creole was Creole, are you up there? There's men walking through with M16 in the party. <laughs> the party. There's men walking through with M16s. Where am I? Rwanda? <laughs> it's all bearing for Joe. I don't see the need for that. And something happened. And as I said, the special constable, some of them, oh my God, they're atrocious. Yeah, yeah. No need, they don't need to be there. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy your idea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. There's a definite power dynamic at play. There's a definite power dynamic at play. When I am standing and interacting with someone who has a weapon in their hand, it's not like a police officer who has their weapon holstered. Mm-hmm. It's literally in the hand for you to see, for everybody to see. There is a power dynamic at play there. On a regular Monday afternoon. I born here. There's a very good chance I'm going to be buried here. Don't yeah. come tell me no stupidness. But in the place I born, I'm supposed to feel threatened by just people who are government sanctioned to be able to walk around with M16s to ask me if I'm having a good night. Sorry. Like, that's nonsense, yo. Yeah, that's not real. We in a state of emergency? Somebody tell me. I, we are. I mean, we are. We are. We are. But what I'm saying is the caller suggested that it's a new thing. Watch your meaning. Me, me, watch your, you know. Watch your, <laughs> I understand how much. I understand how much cameras up and down the place right now. Talking about police state, but they're going on a long time. Oh. That they're going on a long time. And I keep saying, where do we draw the lines in these things, people? That is the question. People so accustomed that they don't take they don't take it. They don't take these things into consideration. They don't think about it on a day to day basis. I say it here all the time. They don't literally don't think about the cameras around the place, the police with the guns and these, they don't think about these things. They just because it's so normal as them. I am almost certain. That there was a time that there was a time in Saint Kitts where that would not have been accepted, right? Sure? Yes, hmm. and I would go as far as to say it changed as a result of some crisis. Do I hear what they say? Don't waste a good crisis. Ever. Don't waste. Don't ever waste a good crisis. Ever, ever. 
So yes, I believe that the results the, of the pandemic, right? You could have things that we could see this as a as a as an opportunity to improve services, to look at deficiencies, right? To build capacity to be able to deal with the unfortunate reality that this or something similar may happen again. Or we could use it as an opportunity now when people, because of fear, are more accepting of having their rights trampled to institute all kind of things that going forward, like you said, now become the norm. Mm. Don't waste a good crisis. But what you do with it? Wait, this ain't Thursday. What, Jade, what are you doing? Me, Jade? <laughs> up to Kevin, bye. <laughs> good morning, caller. You're live at Island What's up? Yeah, good morning. Two things. I'm a little of the older side, but when I grew up, police were respected by the community. Now they are not. That's one. Secondly, we talk about the cameras. Yes, there are a number of cameras up. There should be more. But my question is, one, are they working? Two, are they being monitored? Three, is the stuff being recorded? Because if it's none of the above, they're useless. All right. Well, the funny thing is, I have, I, well, I have a, I have a different view on the, on the camera situation, and some of the questions that I have is one, well, if they're working, are they, like you said, being monitored? I could uh, being monitored by who, and who monitors the, who monitors the monitors. And also, have we seen, as a result of the cameras, um, a reduction in, 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 in crime? I'll tell you why I said that. In St. Martin, there's cameras all up and down the place. At first, there were wired cameras. The people went and cut the wire. Mm -hmm. They said, you know what? We got to change this. You think? They come back with... Um, they come back with wireless cameras. The people come with a saw <laughs> and cut down the posts. <laughs> well, I mean... So they say, let's put up some metal posts. They, well, they remove those, though? They find ways to block the infrared signal. <laughs> the oh. thing is, the, the criminals going to do what they got to do. Yeah. They're going to do what they got to do. So that ain't for them. So, so, taking your point there, the criminals are going to do what they do. Therefore, because of that, Authorities then have to respond in time. The authorities got to do what they got to do. Because the and what what do they have to do? The authorities got to arm themselves. The authorities got to arm people to protect the innocent citizens from the criminals. But what I'm you saying, sir, is that what, what the things that the things that the, this, this is what happens generally. The things that are put in place to protect the innocent from the criminals become things used by the society to suppress the same innocence because the criminals <laughs> the criminal so it's just a, a constant in, uh, escalation and whose rights get trampled all the time are the same innocence that's generally what happens we see it in places like new jersey we see it in places like philadelphia like this ain't nothing new taking your point yeah let's accept that so uh, okay, well, we should do nothing. We should let the criminals just run rampant. No. Your suggestion, then. Who suggests who suggest that? Okay. I think we lost a call. <laughs> I think we lost a call. But I, I do believe that... Um, I do believe that he said that the you know the police don't have this the same level of respect. Um... I don't believe that to be the case. I believe that there are some police that, that, that leave a bad taste in, 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 in people's mouths. Um, back in the day, you know, you had the community police and um, you know, people like the police would walk a beat. They were from the community generally. You know, somebody, you know, you know them and my bam bam. And you know, that, that, I think that has changed a bit. And that has played into to whatever, like, and this is the same thing that we, we complain about here. We complain about it with restaurants. 
right? If if a restaurant is not COVID compliant, do you close all restaurants? No, that seems crazy. Even though because a, a, a promoter is not compliant, all of a sudden all the other promoters have to have to suffer. Oh, that's what we were talking about first, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, no, what we're saying is because of the actions of a few and the belief that we are unable to adequately um, deal with the problem, then who has to have their, their rights taken away? The same innocence. But, um,